Welcome back, everybody. My name is Taylor Martin. This is the best MEDC, and today we're back at the table. But don't worry, the table's going away after the next video. It'll be back down and out of the way next week. So just <laughs> for those of you worried that I'm getting right back into it, I'm not, I swear to God, I swear I'm not. But today we're talking about Open Sea Leather. I know many of you know who Open Sea Leather is already. So we're gonna recap who they are for those of you who are not up to speed on Open Sea Leather, but also I've got some new things from OpenSea to share with you what's going on with Michael and OpenSea Leather and what he has going on throughout the holidays. There's a special Black Friday sale. I'll tell you more about it later. But for now, let's do the damn thing. Okay, crash course on Open Sea Leather. Again, I know many of you already know who Open Sea Leather is and what they do, what they specialize in. Michael Bluth, he has been going hard on these envelope style wallets for a long time, and I have been a fan for just as long. I've been carrying Open Sea Leather wallets for years, uh, five, six years now, off and on. I think this is, I think this is everything I have. I've given some away to friends, gave some away on the channel. But these are, I think, what really kind of encapsulate OpenSea leather. You have his original like standout wallet, which is the gun deck right here. This was a special version in Pueblo leather. There's also the top cider, which is the same wallet, just vertical instead of horizontal. You've got the Hobe, which is kind of like a top cider, but there's an additional layer and you can do it in two tone. Uh, yeah, so that's really the variety. And then last year, not only did he announce the Hobe, he introduced the mini series. So just taking the gun deck down just a bit in size to make it a little more minimalist and pocket friendly, you had the same happen with the top cider, just a much smaller footprint. Um, that does come at the expense. One of the coolest things about the top cider is that you can have unfolded cash in this thing. You cannot do that in the mini series, but that's okay. I still love the mini series. Uh, in fact, I prefer them over the full size. I never carry cash. So for me, the mini series is phenomenal. I prefer minimalist wallets. And uh, I think these are some of, they, they are some of my favorite. I've carried many of these a lot. This gun deck mini got a good amount of pocket time. So did this gun deck mini. This one is actually my secondary wallet. I keep this in my backpack with kind of like overflow cards. Um, have a few businesses, so I have a lot of debit cards. This one is one I bought on my own and carried the absolute crap out of. And, and then this Hobe has probably seen the most use out of any of these here on the table. But I've had some of Michael's work, even back when it was Das of Fenimer, I had a few of his wallets then and carried the crap out of them for years, literal years. So that's the crash course on OpenSea Leather. If you wanna know more, watch a more in-depth video on everything he's already done. I did a video last year detailing all of that when he released, I believe it was the Hobe or the Minis. I don't remember exactly which, but there is a video, I'll link it down below and up in the corner here, detailing all of OpenSea up to date. But now let's talk about the new stuff, the stuff that you don't know about yet. These wallets, right here. I'm gonna move these two off to the side just for the time being. These two right here, what you see is, let's get the companion wallet to this one first. Hubei, Hubei, I would say Hubei, it's Hobay. Michael told me Jeremy was right. I told him that I thought Jeremy was wrong. Jeremy was right. I always said Hubei, it's Hobay. Hobay, Hobay. So starting with this one right here, we have what is effectively the Hobe Mini. It is the Hobe Mini. Um, the difference is going back to the Top Sider Mini and let's take a look at the Gun Deck and Gun Deck Mini. Just comparing these real quick. These are the same. Uh, you open them up, they are the same, just smaller. Gun Deck Mini, it's really the same build, just smaller. What you're getting with the Hobe Mini is slightly different than the larger version. You have one, two, three pockets within your card flap or the, the flap on the outside. Inside the Hobe Mini, you have one big pocket and your, your flap. So you can store a card there, card there, but it is just the flap. So you have one pocket on the inside and around back, you still have just one pocket on the rear. So that's really how this differentiates from the top sider because the top sider has two internal pockets. This one has one. So Hobe Mini isn't exactly just a scaled down Hobe. 
it is missing some of those internal pockets. So if that's what you really love about the Hobay, the Top Sider Mini might be the one that you really want instead of the Hobay Mini. But I have to say, my favorite little tiny detail here is this right here, that notch. So the Hobay, this, this little flap is angled so that it misses that stitch line and sits flush. And it works, does it well. But this time, Michael has notched it, physically notched it, so this line comes straight down with the edge of the wallet and it sits flush. I think that is a tiny little detail that looks incredible. Just a tiny little thing that makes it look and function way better. The details on this, $65, uh, super minimalist. They hold four to five cards. You do have a little uh, quick access on the back. So I've been carrying my secondary cards here and then the one I always use in the back. And then you can put quartered cash in these as well. Then we have, I don't have a larger version of this, but we have the 5050. So very, very, very similar to the Hobe Mini. The difference in the 5050 is really just your shape right? The size and shape of the cutouts. So you get some slants, some angles. On the Hobay, everything is very rectangular and squared. That's one of the main differences. You have a little thumb for quick access to your card on the back. And then, if you might notice, the stitching. So this back pocket comes up higher. You have more stitching on the 50-50. And this one is a cross stitch. This one, I believe, is a saddle stitch. But other than that, they're really the same thing. It just comes down to aesthetics for the most part, right? Which one do you like the looks of better? Do you want something a little more squared? Or you want something a little more flashy, original, unique? I personally really like the Hobay Mini, but the 5050 Mini, if you're really into straight lines and more angular stuff, I think this looks more classic and even more classy. So a little more dressy if that's what you're after. Both of them come in two-tone, but you could also, I believe, get them in a one, like one color finish which will bring us to the next wallet in just a second. Same deal with this, $65, super minimal, four to five cards, quartered cash. That is the Hobay Mini and the 5050 Mini. Next up, you might've seen these really briefly just a second ago, same deal. We have a 5050 Mini and a Hobay Mini. You can see just variations in the stitching color, which is just something you can do when you buy the wallet. You can customize it to your liking with about, I think it's 19 or 20 different thread colors. These are your, you're not gonna be able to choose the leather color. On these, you can choose which colors you're, you're getting the wallet in. These, you're not gonna be able to customize all, all that much because they're coming out in super, super limited quantities because this is kangaroo leather. It is very, very, very thin. That's the first thing you're gonna notice about them. I mean, if you take an empty Hobe Mini versus an empty Hobe Mini with kangaroo leather, you can see it is considerably thinner with no cards in it. In fact, you can put cards, you can fill this Hobay Mini up and it's about the same thickness as the empty regular Hobay Mini in I think Bettero leather. You can see kind of the same thing with the 5050. This one is full of my cards. This is what I was carrying earlier today. And comparing that to the 5050 Mini, it is considerably thinner even full of cards. So yeah, these are extremely thin. We're talking like two ounce leather and even at super thin weights, I guess is the way you would call that, um, very, very durable. So this is a way that you can get an uber minimalist wallet, extremely thin, have very little pocket presence if that's what you're after and still be very strong and durable. Uh, I, I'm not gonna lie, just holding them side by side, I think, these feel tougher and more durable, but I actually prefer the way this feels in the pocket. I think it feels phenomenal because it's barely there. This is the thinnest leather wallet I think I've ever had, and it doesn't feel cheap. It feels feels nice, feels tough, and it's 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 tough. It's not like really flimsy. If you have a very thin leather like this and it's very floppy and flimsy, that doesn't feel good. This has a little bit of rigidity to it. I'm a fan, I like it. So these are the same price, $65. Same price as the a regular, Hobe and 5050 Minis, and there is a, an additional colorway coming out on Black Friday, and this is called the Resistance colorway. I don't have any here, but Michael did share some pictures. These are in also super limited quantities, just like the kangaroo leather. They have this really cool blue skull finish. I don't know exactly what it's called. Let me see, I, I wrote it down. It looks like Stingray leather, but it is not. It is a veg tan leather, and it is uh, Conseria. Wall Pierre in skull. 
I probably butchered that, but you can see, if you look very closely, skull patterns in what looks like Stingray leather, but it's just veg tan leather. So that's really neat. And then on the bottom, so like what you see in the green and blue here in the, the uh, Hobe and 5050 minis, those sections are actually like a blue camo. It looks really sick. I'm not even a fan of blue. I don't really like this colorway for me personally, but that resistance colorway is sick. I'm probably gonna buy some. So the deal with that resistance colorway, and again, in super limited quantities, but 10% of those proceeds will be going to support food security in Ukraine. So not only do you get a really cool, very limited wallet, you can also help out in a very important way. So all this is going down this week on Thursday, on Thanksgiving day, the Black Friday sale for OpenSea Leather starts at 5 p.m. Eastern on Thanksgiving day. So if you wanna get into 25 to 40% off on OpenSea Leather wallets, go there, hit the link in the description down below and you can get one of these super limited kangaroo leathers. These are actually coming in more than just the Hobe and 5050 minis. These are coming in all the different wallet types, uh, but you also have the option of the irregular Hobe mini, 5050 mini, and then the resistance colorway. All of that is happening over on OpenSea Leather. That's osleather.com starting at 5 p.m. on Thanksgiving day. Okay. Last thing, Michael asked me to also tell you guys about what he's been doing on YouTube. He has a YouTube channel, it's MGB Customs or at MGB Customs. I'll also link it down below. He is doing videos on YouTube now. He's actually doing a really good job, but he's doing tutorials on leather goods, such as you know how to get started making leather, how to make your own tools, such as a stitching pony, so go over to MGB Customs and check out him. Give him a subscribe, tell him I sent you. Um, I think he would really appreciate that. And I really appreciate if you go visit his website, check this stuff out on Black Friday, check out the deals and check out the new stuff. I am really, truly a fan of this Hobe Mini. Um, I've carried this for about two weeks now and I really, really like this wallet, but I switched over to the 5050 Mini in Kangaroo just yesterday, two days ago. It's surprising. I really like it. I, was, I wasn't I was an immediate fan of this because of how thin the leather was, or is, but I like it. Once you start wearing it, wearing it, carrying it, once you start carrying this in your pocket, it starts to kind of shine. You understand the point. It's extremely minimal. I, I don't know that I have a wallet that's thinner. I really don't think I do. Even that titanium card holder, it's got ridges and I think it's thinner. It's also rigid, so you always know it's there, but this almost disappears in the pocket. So go check these out. Uh, Black Friday sale on Thanksgiving day. That's it. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Again, hit the links down below to check all of this stuff out over at osleather.com. If you wanna support what I'm doing here as well, you can go to patreon.com forward slash best but I will see you guys in the next video. And until then, carry on.